What I'm going to focus on today is really different, larger forms of genetic variation involving essentially gains, losses, and inversions of sequence. So shown here is a fairly uh, in a simple diagram. We have an example of some structural variation operationally defined as events greater than a KB in size. So we have pieces of DNA that sometimes become deleted. We have pieces of DNA that sometimes become duplicated on chromosomes and regions which can be in fact inverted or turned around with respect to another orientation. So this very busy map here represents uh, probably about three years of work in my lab just to kind of characterize the general pattern of structural variation in eight human genomes. So shown here are different human chromosomes. Uh, four from African and four from non-African. The distinctions really aren't that important. But what I'm showing you here is the presence of insertions, deletions, and inversions as red, as blue, red, and green. And so each line here represents a different human genome that has been analyzed, looking for structural variation events greater than 5,000 base pairs in size. So a couple of things you can maybe get from this is you can see that there's a lot of genetic variation out there uh, that is above the level of single base pair change. And most of the events that you're seeing here are essentially inherited, but we now know based on studying roughly about 2,000 human genomes that there's a, a significant fraction of very large events, often hundreds of KB in size, that are either individually specific or specific to specific families. So this is kind of changing our view of the dynamic nature of the human genome. 